everyone, my name is Radu and this is an unboxing and first contact with the Asus ROG Phone 3. This is the third generation Asus gaming phone and yes, it has some bells and whistles that I want to talk about. First of all, this is one big phone and it's a heavy one too. It weighs about 240 grams and yes, that is even more than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's a big piece of glass and metal with a lot of high performance components inside. Even the camera is quite new. So, this is the box it came with. Those are some small accessories. Uh, I want to show you what's inside the box. As usual, a big shiny box for you gamers out there. And it opens quite like this. And inside you're going to find the ROG Aeroactive Cooler, the third generation, which is actually what it says. It's a cooler for your smartphone, but it has some few nifty stuff in there. Uh, this is what the phone was supposed to be, but hey, we already unboxed it. And inside the box, you can also find, oh my God, this is beautiful. I think I'm gonna keep this. I like it so much. This is the actual SIM key for the ROG phone. It also says Republic of Gamers on it. So inside you're gonna find a bumper case of some sort. That is nothing special, it has the ROG logo on the back, and yes, it fits the phone quite nicely, but I don't believe this is going to offer much protection. Yes, it looks very gaming-ish, and you can still see the Republic of Gamers logo on this side. Hey, we also have some stickers. Republic of Gamers, you join the Republic, do not disturb, okay. Nice. This is one thing you won't like. This is an USB-C to jack adapter because the smartphone doesn't have a jack. So if you want to use your special uh, gaming headphones, you might want to have to use this. Quite a big charger. It's an USB-C to USB-C charger and it outputs a mere 30 watts. And that actually comes as a surprise because the Asus ROG Phone 3 comes with a 6,000 milliamps battery. So let's say that that's a two hour charging time. Hmm. Not so bad, but although not so good in today's standards. And also you have a USB-C to a USB-C braided cable, which also can be used for data transfer. Yes, because this phone has one of the fastest storage around. So that's it about the box. I'm gonna keep this here. Mm, don't actually like this. So we have some uh, some other cases from the for the back of the phone. This one is a silicone case. Actually, it looks almost the same as the one in the box, but it's bright orange. And no, no, definitely not. I'm not going to use that one. This one looks a bit more polished. Doesn't stand out so much. And this is the ROG LED version. And it actually has a small cutout right here. That's gonna stand just right next to the LED on the smartphone so it can light up the logo on the back. And I think it detected the fact that I installed a, a smart case and yes, the logo on the back starts lighting up. And of course it says ROG because why not just Tell everyone you have an ROG smartphone. Well, enough is enough. Uh, this is a antibacterial glass screen protector. No, I'm not going to be using a glass screen protector with this phone and I'm advising you not to do it either because this is one of the fastest screens on the planet. Let's talk about the back of the phone. Yes, I do like it, but it's very fingerprinty, magnety. And yes, you will have to use a case for this one. It has a small ROG logo on the side, has some cutouts right here. It's actually a transparent glass and it looks really, really nice. It, has, it says aerodynamic system. I don't know what that means for a phone. A phone doesn't have to be aer aerodynamic, but hey, it looks cool. So uh, there's glass on the back, a lot of glass. You might want to be careful with it. Uh, the power button and the volume rocker on the side, as usual. Uh, two cameras on the back. Actually, there's three of them. This one is a TOF sensor, a TOF sensor. That's a time of flight sensor and some LEDs. Uh, microphone and 
On the bottom we have a USB-C port and on the side we have a special kind of USB-C port that's gonna fit this thing here which is actually a cooler. That's it. You can see inside it's actually a cooler for cooling your phone and it's gonna fit in just like this. I'm gonna strap it on the back and stick it in. Oh, you have a pretty light right here, Republic of Gamers, of course. And as you can see, there's quite a distance between the cooler and the smartphone. That's because the cooler is designed to work if you have the case on, just like this. You plug in the cooler and now it fits really nice. The cool thing about this is you can uh, get a charging port on the side of the phone, a USB-C, so it won't bother you when you're playing some games. You won't have any cables uh, pulling from here. And also a jack for your headphones. I kind of like this thing because it's a flip stand. You can flip it out like this and you can sit your phone just like this on the table or why not even like this. If you want a different angle, this is a cool thing to achieve with just a small device like this. Now what you're going to notice right here, these labeled ROG are actually the haptic touch buttons. Those are very sensitive and you can use them while gaming just like this, just like using a console or um, a console gamepad. They actually react very fast and they're compatible with a lot of new games, especially Call of Duty or Asphalt 9, so you can map them for different functions in the game. And yes, I would recommend using them because these are the greatest thing that ever happened to smartphone gaming. Now, in terms of specs, you have some pretty cool things about this phone. This is the Snapdragon 865 Plus CPU, so it actually is the, the fastest smartphone on the planet. One single core of the CPU will go up to 3.1 GHz while you're gaming to offer you the best performance possible. Yes, it has the same Adreno 650 uh, GPU and a big ass screen. What's smart about this screen, it's a 140Hz refresh rate display all the time. Even in the menu, you can set it to 144Hz refresh rate and it actually supports auto to adjust the refresh rate. Let's say you're just watching, watching a video on YouTube and you don't actually need 144Hz, so to save the battery, it's going to adjust automatically to 60Hz. There are a few different versions of the Asus ROG Phone 3, and that's taking account of the storage. This one is the 512 gigabytes of storage with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And yes, that is just a lot of memory. Yes, this is the 16 gigabyte version and you will also get a 12 gigabyte with less storage inside. That means you're going to get either 128 gigabytes or a 256 gigabyte of storage. There's a downside for that. It doesn't have a micro SD card. So if you want to install more games or just use more apps or I don't know, save some movies and music, uh, you might want to use an external storage and for that you can actually use one of these. It, this is called, as a, this is an external SSD basically, it's the one we used in our recorders and with a USB Type-C adapter you can plug it on your phone and extend the storage. But, but I don't think this is necessarily an option so if you are buying this phone with a lot of games in mind you might want to go for the bigger storage option because you're gonna fill that memory pretty quick. Going back to the screen, this is a 6.59 inch OLED display and yes, it's one of the better displays out there. It's not as bright as the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or maybe an iPhone 11 Pro Max, but hey, it does the job pretty good. On the connectivity side, Yes, it does have 5G, although it's an 865 CPU, the fastest around. So yes, it does have 5G. It's a future-proof smartphone. You also have Wi-Fi 6, the fastest Wi-Fi around, and paired with a Wi-Fi 6 router, I think you're gonna get the best gaming experience possible. That is, if you play online games. So in terms of performance, I don't think we're gonna have a problem here. Yes, it is the fastest phone around. But in terms of sound, mm, Yes, yes it is. This smartphone has one of the best sounding speakers. I think it has two speakers, one right here, 
up front and one down here, both stereo speakers and another one in the back. Just listen to this. Yes, this is one of the best sounding smartphones out there. Actually, it sounds like a small laptop, but hey, this is what you get for about 900 US dollars. I think it's gonna be in about 950. If you go to, for the smaller version with 128 gigabytes of uh, storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM. For this version, the 512 gigabytes, this is gonna cost a lot more. And that's, this is about uh, $1,200, I think. I had the phone before the official launch, so I'm not actually pretty sure about the price, but I think it's going to be priced the same as the Asus ROG Phone 2. Well, not almost the same, because as you remember, the ROG Phone 2 was launched not even a year ago, and in Asia, Tencent Mobile had subsidized almost 50% of the price. So anyone over there could get uh, the full version of the ROG Phone 2 at about five or $600. And that's a bargain. In terms of camera, I don't expect much. This is a smartphone made for gaming. So taking photos or recording video shouldn't be the first thing you look at, but I'm proud to say they used a Sony IMX sensor, one of the new ones. And yes, with the time of flight sensor on the back, it does a pretty good job of capturing what's in front of you. There's actually two cameras on this phone, a 16 megapixel and a 12 megapixel shooters. And yes, they both have quad bio technology. This is a Sony technology that actually mimics Huawei technology for the camera sensors, which they have four pixels that are blue. I think four red and eight green. And that's for capturing better colors. On the video side, it does have some stabilization, only electronic, but hey, it can shoot 8K at 30 frames per second. And that's a pretty cool thing, you know? 8K and 30, 30 frames, 4K and 60 frames, 4K normal, full HD, and oh, also full HD and normal and HD. So, it does have a function called motion tracking, which actually uses, and this is a feature that was brought from the Asus Zenfone 5, where you can select a person uh, which you're filming, and it's gonna keep a focus on that person, even though it's moving away from the camera. But hey, you're not buying this phone for the camera, so I wouldn't dwell on it. Oh, the front shooter has 24 megapixels, and yes, the pictures look quite nice. Uh, this is a photo of my colleague, because I, would, I was too lazy to take a picture myself. What Asus does best on gaming smartphones and actually gaming laptops is the software. And right here, you have a software that's uh, specialized to take advantage of all the CPU power possible. Uh, where is it? I think it's down here. Yeah. Of course, it's the main button. You have a game library, you have a console, featured news, and you have the X mode, which if you power it on, you're actually gonna see a 3.1 gigahertz speed on the CPU. Gonna attach the cooler so the phone knows. And yes, just with the cooler on, you're gonna see the bump on the speed from two to almost three gigahertz. From the Game Genie right here, you can manage your games, you can function, function order customization, uh, connection whitelist, uh, this is a cool thing, allow only whitelisted apps to use connection in games, and that's a good thing. And the air triggers, you can, and you can actually see a tutorial over here. So when you're gaming, you're gonna hold a phone like this, even though you have the cooler attached or maybe a power cable, and you can uh, adjust your triggers to your preferred sensitivity. So the feature tab has hmm, 140, 40 hertz, 120, a gamepad, Pro Stars, Twin View. Oh, I know what it is. This is a set of features 
that are actually compatible with some games and with some of the ASUS accessories for this phone. Uh, actually, the, the accessories that were sold with the ASUS ROG Phone 2 are all available with this one. So the air triggers, mm, twin view, this is actually for the twin view dock, it's a dual display case, it adds another display for the smartphone which you can use, I don't know, to set up uh, your uh, mission control or watch the status about your game while you're playing on the main screen. Yes, the second screen will also have 144Hz refresh rate. This is the gamepad option, yes, you can add two gamepads, a left and a right one for the smartphone and that's pretty much it. So, is this the best gaming smartphone you can get? I'm not sure. The last few months I've seen a lot of pretty cool smartphones like the uh, Red Magic 5G or the Black Shark 2 Pro. Not talking about the ASUS ROG Phone 2, which was launched actually less than a year ago. I did like this phone, I did like the fact that you can uh, play Call of Duty in a competitive manner. Yes, you won't be held back by some uh, problems with the display. It has a very fast touch sensing display that's 240 hertz, one of the fastest on the planet. I think uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has the same touch response and maybe the iPhone 12, but who knows, hasn't been launched yet. Is this worth about, let's say $900 for the cheaper version or maybe $1,200? Well. If you count in some of the accessories which you would like, like the second screen, it's actually really awesome to play with it. That's about $200, $250. You will get to about $1,500 with a full package. And if you like gaming on a smartphone, then yes, this is one of the best smartphones you can get for your money. I like the size of it, I like the fact that it feels fast, it, it is fast, it actually is the fastest smartphone on the planet and yes, I'm pretty stoked to see what competition brings to the table in the next few months. But hey, for now, the ASUS ROG Phone 3 stands just right there on top of the competition. So hey, this is my unboxing and first impressions of the ASUS ROG Phone 3 and I'm gonna see you in a few months after um, I think almost everyday use. That's it for today. My name is Radu and if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Maybe they haven't seen the ASUS ROG Phone 3 yet. That's it for today. Cheers! Inside.